This is an example applying the concept of state function to calculate the change in, in this case, enthalpy, state variable, for an irreversible process by picking pathway that makes the calculation easy. So for this particular problem, the calculation is simple enough. We can probably do it without going through the details dem demonstrated here. But for more complicated problems, this becomes particularly important. So we're going from 10 bar and 250C to 1.5 bar and 150C. Irreversible, we're giving the heat capacity and we want the enthalpy change for a mole of gas. So what's critical is to visualize this by drawing out pathway. As I mentioned, as we look at more complicated problems, this, the value of this becomes even more important. So point one, our starting point, n bar 250C, we are first going to make a change at constant temperatures. We'll go from 10 bar to 1.5 bar. At constant temperature, because it's an ideal gas, Delta H is going to be zero for this step. So then we're left with calculating delta H for the second step. Delta H going from A to 2, which is going to be heat capacity, which is constant. The final temperature minus the initial temperature. So the heat capacity for that step, 30 joules per mole per Kelvin. And since we're looking at temperature difference, we can use centigrade. And so this change then in delta H is minus 3,000 joules. And I should indicate we're doing this for one mole, minus 3,000 joules. The total change then for going from 1 to 2 is going to be 0 for the first step, and then minus 3,000 for the second, which means the total change is minus 3,000 joules.